Yeah, they should they should provide a facility where esports guys yeah. can get together. You know what I mean? And esports is, I mean, I think right now it's national, but over time it might become more localized and regional. As you kind of like, just like sports now, I mean, you have local sports teams and then you have national ones. Yeah, so right now in esports, I think it's like national, but you can see a market for like local teams. And so GameStop would be perfect for sponsoring, managing local Yeah, and they can sports. run uh, regular yeah. events because people can bet on horse races from electronically. Yeah, and yeah, they can you can have be the all bets parlor. Yeah, it's uh, it's it sounds easy to for us to like tell them to like change their demo demographics or shift to a different strategy because then they will hire like an entire team of people, and that takes like another year to hire just people in itself, and then like another six months to create a strategy, and then another year to implement that strategy. By then, they're just bankrupt. So and you they, said they don't own their stores, right? Yeah, they don't. So they can't just go and rebuild everything. Anyway. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, that's why they're closing a lot of their stores down because their lease is expiring. So, do you think all this money that's leaving the used game industry is just going to software-based games? Because there, you have to buy the game, right? Yeah. So yeah, you, like, you like Microsoft, it's, right? It's, it's, Sony in two thousand nineteen announced half of their game sales were from online sales or downloads. So that means bars are going up? Yeah, for, for the gaming industry and less for retail business. Because the games are running off the cloud. That's where it's going. You know, you don't need, a, you don't need, a, you don't need a, the games consoles anymore. You can all compute in the cloud. So like you said, you're just going to the computer, right? Yeah. And, and the manufacturers own all the rights because the games and the software is tied to the profile. And so Nintendo, it's Nintendo and Sony, like from from my experience, it's just you you can't transfer games. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, the, the used industry is becoming definitely obsolete. Yeah, it's like used, uh, what's it called? Blu ray disc? Yeah. <laughs> no one sells it anymore or even tries to buy it. I don't even remember. I was surprised Redbox is still around. I haven't seen it for years. Stopped going to Food Lion and I saw it <laughs> some other grocery, but I haven't seen it in years. The Wegmans, I think, or something. Yeah, the only difference between like video games and like Blu-ray discs is that uh, video games have like a lot more um, megabytes to them. So the clouding industry isn't there yet, but it's getting there. It will take them at least another like two years. That's if GameStop has found some. But there's a real compete for um, what's it? Uh, Microsoft and. Um not HP, what's the other one? Uh, IBM, and uh, who's the third one? And Amazon. All, they're the top three. In the, they're developing uh, the, the cloud, and they're you know, putting up more hardware. So the cloud will roll very quickly because it's very profitable. You know, for, it's like 40% of Amazon's profits. They're not really making it on the retail side, so it's very profitable for all the companies that go into it. And IBM's trying to turn things around. So they're putting a lot of money into it. And uh, Microsoft, Azure, the Azure is um, very profitable. So, and, and that's the more companies are getting into it, but so it's very competitive. So there's enough build out and it's not gonna be a problem. The systems. And what's interesting to know about the cloud is how the video game industry, obviously people are buying more games digitally. However, the like Sony and Microsoft themselves are looking to provide, or they are already providing streaming services for video games, so like Netflix. So you pay like $20 a month to play like unlimited games, whatever game you want, however amount of time you want. So I think that the gaming industry is really seeing a turn even away from looking just at the cloud gaming industry as a whole, moving from just buying a single game digitally to more of a streaming-based platform, and that's where I really see the yeah. gaming industry. $25 is a regular price for three months of uh, Xbox Unlimited. Yeah. I and mean, that's really cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of buying like a game for $60 each, you'll pay like $20 a and month. You get sick of one game. I mean, yeah. you know, Call of Duty is really popular, but then you want the next new Call of Duty, so there's $60 yeah. you put in there. So you're right, for $100 a year, 
you have more than one, two games. Yeah. Well, there's another thing against GameStop, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Unless they provide yeah. their own streaming service. <laughs> And their game is called Self Destruct. Yeah. So <laughs> Nintendo will never let that go. Here, here's a analyst that believes that a hundred digital, hundred percent of digital sales by twenty twenty two. So that's in two years from now. That would be enough time for the clouding industry to uh, make these graphics fast enough for online. Capabilities with the speed of the inch. And you know, like I said with Zynga, the reason it's one of Motley Fools, you know, I said David Gardner, he's one of the two owners, um, started it, is because, uh, like with Facebook, like 80% of Facebook's now mobile phones, when people talk to each other and people are gaming. So the phones, you know, I'm a school teacher, the kids have their phones out all the time <laughs> and they're not supposed to. They let them because the boards are kind of scared with um, Sandy Hook and, you know, that they want to have, in case there's something ever happened, you can say, well, we didn't limit them from their safety. Here are some um, international news. You know, and the UK isn't as, like, technologically advanced as the United States, and for them to have 80% digital sales is speaking a lot of... Uh, volume towards how the gaming industry is going to convert into digital sales. Yeah, all the trades in Japan and South Korea. Well, so Korea and Japan has the fastest internet in the world, right? So they're even, they're already there downloading games before we were downloading things here. So there goes another industry that GameStop and won't be. They already have these sports leagues that we're talking about set up. Yeah. Yeah, StarCraft, for example, they, like, channels, is, yeah, they have TV channels, they have TV yeah. channels yeah. and cheerleaders for their teams already. Yeah, they have local teams. So yeah, they have local teams that. already, yeah, you know? <laughs> there would be, like, a DC. You guys make like a million bucks a year. Yeah, like, yeah, there's pro video games. Well, yeah, I don't know if you're talking about that, but like you said the football teams, like the Mavericks, they bought their franchise, so all the NFL teams are buying their own sports teams. Um, how they do that is it do they digitally make their characters like the EA Sports does the uh, Madden football <laughs> uh, is that how they compete online do they have all the um, games generally have a preset um, created characters so you just choose which specific character that you would like to play it's not like you create yourself oh it. you can pick your your fantasy teams huh is that how they do it? I mean do they have like everybody that's on the current rosters up to date, I and mean, all you gotta do is put the attributes of their speed from their time trials and their stats in, and you can make any. I guess so. I don't know. I, I'm not a gamer. Here's the industry so on. Uh, it's like all the software updates are gonna be done. Just patches, huh? Japan in itself spends fourteen billion dollars on game, and that's a small country. And the United States spends twenty five billion. Japan itself spends fourteen billion. Well, there's a million people there. It's not, they're all old. Japan's aging. Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah, the they're not having kids anymore. Of, I'm surprised at the high number. Demographics are like really screwed up in Japan right now. The population isn't that huge. Yeah, eighty no, percent. No, they're very old people. Not really. They're all old people. I mean, it's unless like the grannies are playing. Sixteen years. over is <laughs> like sixty percent. It's very good because they're not having kids as much. Right? Mm -hmm. Japan is the stock market has been down, been going down for 25 years now, 20, 25 years. It's that, that it's it's it might be changing. Be changing. Yeah, it's tough, yeah. you know, because yeah. you can't live that way. But 100 million people, yeah, I like 60% of them are, what, like, over 60, that's still a lot of people. 40% of 100 yeah, million, 40 million people. The U.S. has 50 million, and the 